a house for hermit crabs. Welcome to Grandma's Reading Corner. We're in a series reading uh, Eric uh, Crane's books on the different things. He has a wonderful series of books. This is about the hermit crab. By Eric Carl. Time to move, said Hermit Crab one day in January. I've grown too big for this little shell. Had He had felt safe and snug in his shell, but now it was too snug. Hermit Crab stepped out of the shell and onto the floor of the ocean. But it was frightening out in the open sea without a shell to hide in. What if a big fish comes along and attacks me, he thought. I must find a new house soon. So he got too big for his shell right there. That's what they do, and there's all the fish. We have to count the fish though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven fish. In March, Hermit Crab met some sea. They, sw they swayed gently back and forth in the water. How beautiful you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come and live in my house? It is so plain you need to. I'll come, whispered a small sea. Anima, gently, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his shell. So I'm going to go back a page. We missed a page. Because he, when the last time we saw him, he didn't have that shell. So we missed a page. So, it starts out that it's January, and then it's February, and then we skip to March. All right, we need to read what happened to him in February. Early in February, Herbert Crabb found just the house he was looking for. It was a big shell and strong. He moved right in, wiggling and waggling about inside to see how it felt. It felt just right, but it looked so, well, so plain, thought Hermit Crab. <laughs> All right, now we found out how he got his new home, didn't we? It's a little plain, so I'm going to find something really nice to dress it up. So now in April, so we went... January, February, March, now April, Hermit Crab passed a flock of starfish moving slowly along the seafloor. See, there they are. How handsome you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to decorate my house? I would, sniffled the little sea star. Carefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his house. How many starfish? I bet that's the one he was going to get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight starfish. And one of the starfish to decorate his house in April. Okay, what's a month after April? April, and now we're in May. In May, Hermit Crab discovered some coral. They had hard and didn't move. How pretty you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to help make my house more beautiful? So see now he had the plants appear as his starfish and now the coral. I would, cracked a crusty coral. Gingerly Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. Wow. He's going to have it all decorated. So that's what happened in May. Then what happened in June? In June, Herbert Crabb came to a group of snails crawling over a rock on the ocean floor. They grazed as they went, picking up algae and bits of debris and leaving a neat path behind them. How tidy and hardworking you are, said Hermit Crabb. Would one of you be willing to come and clean, help clean my house? I would, offered one of the snails. Happily, 
hermit crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. Wow. He found all of the snails there, didn't he? And this is all happening on the ocean floor, the bottom of the ocean. Where did he put that snail? There's the snail. So let's see what happened in July. In July, hermit crab came upon, came upon several sea urchins. They had sharp, prickly needles. How fierce you look, said hermit crab. Would one of you be willing to protect my house? I would, answered spiky sea urchin. Carefully, hermit crab picked it up with his claw and placed it near his shell. Now look at the sea urchins. One, two, three, four, five. See all the things it has? First, right? Got the plant. Then you got the starfish. The coral and the snail. Now sea urchin. Wow. Oh, there it is. There's the sea urchin. Now in August. So after July comes August. Hermit crab and his friends wandered into a forest seaweed. It was so dark here, thought hermit crab. How dim it is, murmured the sea. And no, how gloomy it is, whispered the starfish. How murky it is, complained the coral. I can't see, the snail said the snail. It's like nighttime, cried the sea urchin. See all this? Really a lot of seaweed there. And in September, hermit crab spotted a school of lantern fish darting through the dark water. How bright you are, said hermit crab. Would one of you be willing to light up our house? I replied, I would, replied one lanternfish, and it swam o over near the shell. And here it comes. It's going to swim over. Now it's October. In October, hermit crab approached a pile of smooth pebbles. How sturdy you are, said hermit crab. Would you mind if I rearranged you? Not at all, answered the pebbles. Hermit crab picked them up one by one with his claw and built a wall around his shell. Now my house is perfect, cheered hermit crab. See all the pebbles he's rearranging with there's his claws picking up the rock. There's all the things he's gathered. Lantern fish, a starfish, snail, coral. But in November, so the month after October is November. In November, Hermit Crab felt that his shell seemed a bit too small. Little by little, over the year, Hermit Crab, crab had grown. Soon he had would find, soon he would have to find another bigger home. But he had to come, he had come to love his friends, the sea and moan, the starfish, the coral, the sea urchin, the snail, the lantern fish, and even the smooth pebbles. They had all been so good to me, thought Hermit Crab. They are like family. How can I ever leave them? Have you ever outgrown something that you really loved, like your favorite shoes or your favorite shorts or shirt? And they feel so comfortable, but you outgrown them. That's what's going on with Hermit Crab. In December, or the very last month of the year, a smaller Hermit Crab passed by. I have outgrown my shell, she said. Would you know of a place for me? 
I have outgrown my house too, answered Herman Crab. I must move on. You are welcome to live here, but you must promise to be good to my friends. I promise, said the little crab. Well, that's cool. Look, there's her little crab. She got too big for her. He said, you can live in my crab. So I have to look for a bigger one. But you have to be nice to my friends. Whoa, look at that shell. It's huge. Oh, in January, now the month the year starting over again. So in a year, one year, he got too big for his shell, didn't he? So the following January, Herb, Hermit Crab stepped out and and the little crab moved in. Couldn't stay in that little shell forever, said the hermit crab as he waved goodbye. The ocean floor looked whiter than he had remembered, but the hermit crab wasn't afraid. Soon he spied the perfect house, a big empty shell. It looked, well, a little plain, but sponges, he thought, barnacles, Clownfish, sand dollars, electric eels. Oh, there are so many possibilities. I can't wait to get started. <laughs> so he's going to decorate his new shell with all different kinds of different sea animals. Great. And don't just forget to subscribe uh, to Homeschool for Life. And visit us with, for more books and resources at Homeschool for Life. Thank you.